and today I'm going to be using the U-Pole Raptor Liner Kit on the back of this truck. Now I've got the kit, now I also need a few other things. I've got some 80 grit sandpaper, I've got some acid edge primer, some U-Pole edge primer for any bare metal areas or rust repairs. That's going to help the Raptor Liner stick a lot better. I've also got a body shoots gun, it doesn't come in the kit, but we're going to use this to spray on the Raptor Liner back of the truck and it's going to give it that nice durable finish. So let's get into it. Now I'm ready to start preparing my truck body. The first thing I need to do is to clean it with some U-Pole Tunnel Wipe Water Based Degreaser. Then I'll be ready to start sanding. I'm also going to remove any anchor points or anything I don't want painted that's a bit too hard to mask up. Okay, so now I'm ready to sand my um, truck body. I'm going to use some 80 grit dry sandpaper. Now you can do it by machine or you can do it by hand. Either way, you need to use the 80 grit to scuff up that body and get it all ready for the wrap liner to go on. Now that it's all sanded, it's time to mask up all the areas that you don't want the Raptor liner to go onto. You also want to make sure to mask up all the surrounding panels to avoid overspray. Another thing I like to do is to put some masking tape into the holes that have a thread in it. That way, when you go to put your body back together, it'll be easy to screw in those bolts. Okay, so I've sanded down the back of the truck. I've cleaned it with some degreaser. Now I'm going to spray the U-Pole Acid Etch Primer over the bare metal parts, over those rust repairs. That's going to help that bed liner stick even better. I'm going to do that now. I'm also going to spray the U-Pole Grip 4 Adhesion Promoter on all those hard to reach areas that I couldn't really sand as good as I needed to. Okay, so I've sanded my truck bed, I've cleaned it up, I've sprayed it with the uh, Acid H Etch Primer on all those bare metal parts. Now it's time to mix up my Raptor Liner. It's a two pack product so I need to mix a hardener with it. And all you do is open the lid and put the hardener up to the uh, bottom line of the, uh, of, the, of the tub that's in. Mix it up good, and then you're ready to spray. Now that you've mixed up your Raptor liner, it's time to attach the body shoots gun and spray it out using anywhere from 40 to 70 psi. As you can see, it's as easy as fill, shake, shoot, and can be sprayed anywhere, anytime, because the spray boost is not needed. By changing the air pressure, you can change the texture of the Raptor liner, giving it a different look and feel. Also, when spraying the Raptor liner, use an even sweeping motion. This will ensure you get the right texture and good coverage. As you can see, this Raptor liner is black in colour, but there is a tintable version that will allow you to choose from a variety of different colours. When spraying the Raptor liner, it's recommended to spray one full coat followed by a light coat to cover any remaining patchy areas. And also in the future, if you wish to do some touch-ups, it's just a matter of cleaning, degreasing, and giving it another spray. After 15 minutes, you can remove all the masking and edges, although it won't be touch dry for another hour and won't fully cure for at least three days. If you're going to put some heavy equipment in there, leave it for at least five days to fully harden. At the end of the process, you're left with a durable, hard-wearing and great-looking truck bed liner that will serve you well for the life of the vehicle. <laughs> 